Scientists generally agree that the universe was born 13.7 billion years ago, in an explosion of hot, dense matter called the Big Bang. But this is old news. Really old news. Perhaps the more pertinent question is, what happens next? One billion years from now, the sun will become so hot that all the water on Earth will boil and evaporate. And five billion years from now, the sun will begin to expand into a red giant consuming the Earth. And about a billion years after that, it will shrink down into a white dwarf and spend the next few billion years cooling off. This means that the sun is already halfway through its 10 billion year lifespan, and that the Earth's brief 2 billion year life sustaining period is also halfway over. But say the human race manages to escape before the water boils. What happens next? Well, that depends on the shape of the universe. If it turns out that the universe is in the shape of a sphere, then it will continue to expand for about 15 billion years until it reaches its limit. If it turns out that the universe is infinitely expansive, then it will expand forever, until it becomes infinitely stretched out. And if it turns out that the universe is flat, the universe will expand forever, but at a continually slower rate. Scientists currently don't know the exact shape of the universe, which makes it difficult to predict how it will die. Two likely accomplices in our demise are dark matter and dark energy. Basically, dark matter is a theoretical substance that seems to be slowing down heavenly bodies, compared to how we would expect them to move in a true vacuum. And dark energy is a theoretical energy that seems to be pushing heavenly bodies out in all directions, continuing the expansion of the universe that began with the Big Bang. So depending on the true nature of dark matter, dark energy, and the shape of the universe, here are the prevailing theories for how it all could end. Say the universe is capable of expanding infinitely, eventually all the fuel in existence would burn out, which is called the Big Freeze. Alternatively, if dark energy is somehow infinitely expansive, the energy could incinerate the entire galaxy and tear apart all matter. This is called the Big Rip. Or say the universe is in fact spherical, and its expansion is limited. Once it reaches its limits, it could collapse back into itself, compressing into a singularity. This is known as the Big Crunch. And finally, say that the Big Crunch causes some sort of fundamental change to the wibbly-wobbly timey-wimey stuff in the universe's string membrane, which could somehow reverse the effect of entropy, and trigger another Big Bang. This would be called a Big Bounce, an infinite recursion of Big Crunches and Big Bangs. Which do you think is most likely to happen? It's certainly fun to think about, just don't think about it too much. Take comfort in the fact that by the time any of this happens, you'll be long dead.